back. It's a Woman Wednesday edition of Liquid Lunch on Newsmax TV. I'm John Tobacco. Uh, I was just alerted by my brother Derek, who's joining us in studio today, that I keep saying it's Woman Wednesday, but you haven't seen a woman yet. Uh, that's because my producer, my executive producer, managing editor, Frank Morano, is in Italy. Right now, he's at a school where they're making mozzarella, so uh, he's not really that concerned. And the team is doing all they can to make the show as great as they can because our main goal on this show is to make television great again. Um, but we got some wickedly good women coming up in the second hour for you, so don't be confused. The theme is Woman Wednesday because the thoughts, ideas, insights of women is just as important as men, and we want to highlight that, especially on Wednesday. But uh, one of the finest financial guys I know is in office with me, in studio today with me. Joe Salvani joins me from JF, JFS Investments. Joe, thanks for coming down to Liquid Lunch. Thank really you, Really appreciate, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Uh, Joe, you are like the investment banker to the stars of, of public companies. You find growth companies, you nurture them, you help them, you assist them, you consult them. Uh, you, you do all they need to do to get them in position to raise money, to be structurally sound. Uh, you know where the bodies are buried. There's no doubt about that. And I say my guests on this show are the real people, the purple people who know where the rubber meets the road. But I know you're also really concerned and you have some really big plans with some of the companies you're working with about health care and health insurance and the state of our policy in this country right now. Why don't you Tell my audience some of the stuff you've been telling me because I said you gotta come on, Joe. He didn't really want to come on, but I said you gotta come on and talk to my audience. What's going on with our health care, health insurance, pharmaceutical prices? Lay it on them. Well, the funny part is, John, you know, all you hear about is socialism nowadays and capitalism's dead and changing. The funny part is that there are companies and they're out there that are using the cap a basic private enterprise to try and bring down health healthcare costs. And all it takes is one little change in a, in, to, in, by the government, especially in the HHS area. So, for example, you have... Uh, What's last, HHS? I, I um, know it's Health and Human health, health, Services. Health and Human Services. Right. It's part of the executive branch. And so what you have is the, Trump, if he wanted to, could easily change one item. And what I mean by that is you had a company on last week called Conversion Labs. Symbol is CVLB. Just, uh, Justin Schreiber is the CEO. That's right. He said he was going to let us sell uh, 100 milligram Viagra's for 20 bucks or something like that. That's right. He's the first publicly traded direct pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical play. Telemedicine like, license. Telemedicine, telemedicine license combined with the pharmacy to allow you to be able to get direct delivery to your house by, by automatically going on and getting it all done in one fell swoop. Thereby cutting out McKesson, cutting out the pharmacy benefit manager, coming directly right from the drug company through them to you at your house. Guess what? Medicare, Medicaid, which is more than 25% of the spending on pharmaceuticals, prohibits direct to home shipment for reimbursement. How stupid is that? So by, by, by this one, you, you believe, and I know there are other policy things that you know, but by one flip of the switch to just let Medicare and Medicaid recipients receive direct from the pharmacy, you think you, they can cut their pharmaceutical costs in half? You could have 25 to 50% of the Medicaid and Medicare spend on pharmaceuticals can be cut out with that one little change. And if Trump is listening to this, and I hope he does, because I gather he does listen to you sometimes, he should just easily call up HHS and tell them they've got to do that. Well, it makes sense. Modern I, technology. Everybody's walking around with a cell phone. Okay, and that uh, cell phone enables you to get your pharmaceutical script right from the drug company. I know you know this, but the CEO of Newsmax TV, Chris Ruddy, uh, ingenious guy, okay, started this network from scratch. That's what gave us this platform. But he's in Trump's inner circle. He's a member of Mar-a-Lago. He traveled to meet the queen. He traveled to Korea with him. He, he knows him well. And uh, some people inside Newsmax have told me that the president has seen this show, which makes me very happy. That's why... <laughs> That's why I have this pen yeah, like every day, that. because one day it's going to catch his eye. He's going he's gonna to love it. <laughs> but uh, no matter what, it, it, so at some point, we'll get to him, Joe. But in the meantime, what are the other advances right now? Like okay. we had uh, Pasquale DeLeo on last week That's right. um, from Quad M, which is a staffing mm -hmm. and HR company. And uh, 